On to boxing last week, Zolani Tete knocked out Jason Cunningham in the fourth round on the Joyce Hammer Bill at Wembley to win Commonwealth Super Bantamweight title. He also won in the same fight the IBF, the WBO International titles. He is now trying to recapture the WBO crown currently held by Paul Butler. Zolani Tete joins us via Zoom. Good afternoon, champ, and welcome to Newsroom Africa 405. Good afternoon, Kwena, and, and good afternoon to the li listeners, and, and thank you very much for having me on the show. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your win against uh, Jason Cunningham. I know it was uh, your first real fight since uh, yeah, that last loss. You came to South Africa uh, in Boysens, won in the first round. How was it getting back into the ring to have a proper fight this time around? Uh, thank you very much for congratulating me. Uh, it's been hard work. Uh, I started preparing for this fight, uh, I think, the since the beginning of March. You know, we were preparing for this fight, and uh, I was hoping uh, that the fight will come sooner, but the dates kept uh, being extended. So since the, the, the second week of March, I've been preparing for this fight. And to, to step inside the square ring once again in the, in, in the, so in the ground, uh, such as uh, Ovo Arena, Wembley Arena, it was one of the amazing moments that I've always missed it because uh, I haven't been in the square ring for, for the last two years uh, since uh, since I lost my title against Casimiro. So being in UK and fighting in the UK fans, it was just an amazing gesture and I, I believe Elzo Lani still has what it takes to become a world champion. Well, Chamba, I know that uh, for a fact that when you're fighting in Wembley, it's almost like fighting in Mdansani. It has become your second home. What was the reception like going into this fight against Jason Cunningham, who one can say was fighting more at home in comparison? You know, that's very true when you say uh, it feels like I was fighting in East London because since the day we landed in, in UK, uh, the, the reception was, was so amazing. Even even the people walking in and out the hotel could recognize the face of Usulani. And they would tell that this is the boxer that is fighting Jason Cunningham. This is the boxer that knocked out Paul Butler. You know, the UK fans know the sport of boxing and they know uh, how to analyze the sport of boxing. Since then, they have been happy for me. They have been supporting me. Even on social media, they were sending me good messages, uh, wishing me the best of luck. Uh, throughout uh, that week, and I was, it was also amazing. And I can't wait to fight again in the, in, in the in, in UK. Well, I'm sure the fans uh, watching in Mdansani are asking, when, though, champ, are you fighting uh, back at home in Mdansani? The last time you fought in South Africa, it was at Boysons. It was just a, a warm-up fight, if one can put it that way. Are we likely going to see Zolani in Mdansani fighting in a proper championship world title fight? You know, that's one thing that I've always wanted. You, uh, I've always wanted to defend uh, my WPO Pandamo title uh, even before I lost the title. And I, I was crying that how come all the other champions from the other countries are able to defend their titles and I'm from South Africa and I am not able to defend my title. So it was a worry to me. I'm still hoping that uh, once, uh, once before I retire, Uzulani will maybe get another chance to defend his world title. Uh, I'm hoping to go for the world, the world title for the third, for the third time uh, before the end of this year, and I want to become a world champion. So I believe if, 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 if that happens, that Uzulani fights for the world title before the end of this year and, and, and becomes the world champion, then definitely early next year Uzulani can make a defense uh, back at home. And that's my wish and that's my hope that uh, if we, we do have talks with Mr. Frank Warren, he can give us that opportunity to, to, to let me defend the title here at home. Let's, let's go back to that fight against uh, Jason Cunningham. Um, it ended in the fourth round. Were you surprised by how much uh, um, you know, he gave into the fight? Because it was expected that Jason Cunningham would give you a tough fight, but you managed to put him down only in the fourth round. According to the way we were preparing for that fight, I knew that somehow we're going to knock out Jason Cunningham. Uh, the strategy of the fight was so solid, and I could I could feel it in 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 my blood that I'm gonna knock Jason out because the strategy on its own was just playing in my mind, and my body was just doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, I was not surprised when I caught Jason on the fourth round. Uh, it I was expecting that, but 
it came, uh, I, I was expecting that to happen maybe around the sixth or the seventh round, you know, because our plan was to, to keep him behind the jab, make him focus on the jab, and that's exactly what he did. He was more focused on the jab. And I knew once I landed my, my, my left cross, Jason wouldn't be able to take it. That is why before I threw that left hand, I had to give him an awkward angle where he won't be able to land his straight left, but mine could be able to land. And that's exactly how I, 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 I nailed U Jason Cunningham. And then after that, I, I rocked him out the ring. You, you spoke earlier on that before you retire, you want to recapture the title. At 34 years old, are you already thinking ahead to retirement? Or is there still a lot that we can get from uh, last born? There's still a lot that is going to come out from last born. But, when, uh, uh, but you know, there's one thing that I, I, I don't want to see is to see this, the sport of boxing retiring me. Uh, what I want to do is retire from the sport of boxing. But of course, I need to achieve my goal. My goal is to become a three or four time world champion. So if the opportunities are there for, for myself, I'll grab the opportunities. It, it doesn't matter if Uzulani becomes 35, 36, but if the opportunities are there for myself, I'll always go for the opportunities up until I feel that, no, my body can't take it no more. But I still believe Uzulani still has another, another plus minus three, four years in him. What's next then? You've just captured the Commonwealth title, uh, the IBF and the WBO international titles. What's next for Zolani? What are you aiming? Are you looking at Paul Butler, who you beat before he's currently holding that Bantam, um, WBO Bantamweight title, or are you looking further to the IBF too? Uh, you know, who Mr. Feng Warren said after this fight, uh, before the fight actually against Kenning, Jason Cunningham, that whoever wins will get an opportunity to, ch to challenge for a world title. He was not he, he was not specific whether it's the WBO, IPF, WPA, or WPC. Uh, what we are hoping for is that we do fight for a world title, WBO or any other world body. But what we want is to to see ourselves uh, once again contesting for the world title. And I believe uh, that that may happen before uh, the end of this year. And that is my wish because I want to close this year with a bang. Uh, bringing back the world title once again. And, and just finally then, I mean, you, you speak about bringing back the, the, the world title. Uh, looking at your career so far, at 34, as you say, three, maybe four more years to go from Zalani Tete, which one of the fights that you'd say still stands out for you? I know you've had quite a lot, only four losses. I mean, you've made history in that uh, short stoppage of Gonya in, in, in the UK. For you, which title, which fight still stands out for you as one of those big, most challenging fights that you fought? You know, the amazing thing is that after the fight, uh, when we went to the hotel, uh, we met up with one of the WPC uh, uh, committee guys. And he said, I'm definitely taking you to the top five of the WPC rankings. And I was so excited. And, and that's, that is, that's exactly the title that I want. You remember, the WPC title has never been in East London. Yes, it, it has been in South Africa, but not in East London. So I want to continue making history because I know once I, I grab that WPC, the WPC title, I'll now be the first uh, boxer to bring the WPC title in East London. And that would be one of the greatest things, is the greatest achievement that ever East London has ever achieved. And that's my wish is to go for the WPC or another WPO uh, title chain. So I'm hoping for the best. Fantastic. Solani, thank you so much uh, for coming through to talk to us on Newsroom Africa 4-5. We just wanted to congratulate you and thank you very much for coming through.